And as we end 2023 and begin 2024, more electric vehicles are out on the road now than ever before. Experts say makers are selling them for cheaper and government officials are investing in the infrastructure around our state. Sales year to date, uh, 23 over 22 uh, through basically December, uh, we're up 34 percent. That equates to approximately 10,500 battery electric vehicles and another 4,800 plug-in hybrids, which are you know, gas and plug-in electric. Alabama Clean Fuels Coalition Executive Director Mark Bentley is on his second electric vehicle. He says for him, the decision was easy. Little or no maintenance. My first was uh, rotate and balance the tires and put in window washer fluid for over three years. I saved approximately two thirds on my fuel expense. Bentley says three years ago they worked with ADECA to create the National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure or NEVI plan in order to place more charging stations. Alabama is projected to receive nearly $80 million over five years through this plan. We have 1,002 miles of interstates and the idea is to have a fast charging station every uh, 50 miles or less and no more than a mile off of the interstate. So we will be built out on the interstates, I would think within the next three years, let's say. As the infrastructure for EVs is growing, IC Cars executive analyst Carl Brower says they're becoming more affordable too. And it's really been a result of Elon Musk and Tesla. He has brought down the prices of Tesla so dramatically in the last year that new Teslas are less money that's made use Tesla's prices fall, and that's made the entire electric vehicle market fall because Tesla represents such a large percentage. The average used car is down about 5% from a year ago. The average used EV is down about 33% from a year ago. And the battery costs have come down about 70% over the past couple of years. In addition to that, uh, many models of electric vehicles are eligible to receive federal incentives up to $7,500 per vehicle. Now, the latest IC car study shows more than half of new car dealers are selling EVs in the Birmingham metro area, while a little over 20% of used car dealers are selling them. And as we enter the new year, 